Boston trailing. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. Tatum and Horford, the duo at forward. Then there's Peyton Pritchard. Then there's Luke Cornett. And it's Hauser in at the two guard. Tatum with it. Marshall's there. Clock at six. And it's Tatum missing. Dallas is shooting around 44%. Not bad. Good. Hardy's got his first points of the night. Smart pass is just one of the many ways Kyrie Irving creates offense. Now here's Tatum. Not a lot of room. Look at Tatum using his length. In the second half, we've seen him refocus his shooting. Much fewer wasted possessions. Washington outside. Misses the three. And they're up right now, but it hasn't been because of him. He's really struggled on offense. To the middle. Out to Horford. Pass to Pritchard. To take the lead. On target from range. Richard's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth. Gafford passes to Irving. And they waste no time getting those three points back. His third triple of the game. A little more success from out there in the second half. Here's Tatum. Cool rocket finish from Tatum. Brushing off the contact look. The dude is strong. When he gets in there, it's easy. That's an easy bucket. With the step back. Now here's Irving. He's covered closely. He's got it going on. Now seven for ten. It's been a dominant night for him. Staying productive throughout. Oh, Tatum takes the contact. Shooting a great clip in the second half. He made some nice adjustments in the locker room. There's a screen. Irving to three. Oh, he hits that one. Eight for 11 and remaining a thorn in the D side. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. Pass to Hauser. Here's Pritchard. Fires for three. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Hardy. Count it and one. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. That's on Al Horford. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for Dallas. The name of the game in the modern NBA is making threes. Space in the court, and that's exactly what they are doing tonight. Yeah, they've also worked at pounding the ball inside. It gave them high percentage looks all game, and it's paid off. Pass to Holiday. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Well, Richard with the career he's had. It's hard to believe Drew Holiday has only made two All-Star teams. Well, that speaks to how much talent is at the guard position in this league. But it also shows how we tend to award offense over defense because Drew, his impact is truly felt on the defensive end. Exum's checked in for Dallas. Dinwiddie comes in for Hardy. Good on both. And the Celtics far and away the best record in the NBA last season, Grant. Well, they rode that momentum into the playoffs capturing the franchise's 18th championship, passing the Lakers for the most of any team in the association. From downtown, and it's Cornette with a rebound. Boston has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Pass to Tatum, 4-3. Again, the miss by Boston. The D has to respect his range. He made two in the first half, and he's capable of dreaming even more here in the second. Dinwiddie finds Irving. Puts up a deep three. Boston pulls it in. Tatum's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. An easy two on the layup. Tatum's got 27 points. 
I love seeing Tatum exhibit the passion that he has shown us tonight. Such a motivated performance by him. Here's Irving. Horford pulls it in. Horford's got his fifth rebound in this one. Gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Now here's Tatum, he's guarded by Exum. And here's Tatum. And he drops it in from the low post. He has 29 now. And offensively, it appears they've hit their stride. Irving, a screen on Tatum. Over to the left wing. Gafford passes to Dinwiddie. The offensive rebound. Washington, a screen. Dinwiddie, no good. And it's Holiday with the ball for the Boston Celtics. The lead is two. They'll be playing host to Houston for their next game. And that's the first of just two home games for them. Outside Tatum. Pass to Cornett. Here's Pritchard. He's covered by Dinwiddie. Off target from outside. Just enough of a shot contest to bother. Washington passes to Irving. Again, the miss by Dallas. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Pritchard, the pass to Holiday. Sinks it from distance. And now a five-point Boston lead. They haven't looked the same on defense during this second half. Seems like they're relaxing and allowing them to get whatever shot they want. The three from Washington. He drops it from range. He's finally getting a chance to show off his range. I know he wishes he would have found his shot in the first half. Here's Pritchard. From the low block. Horford can't hit. The Mavericks have gotten six of their 13 shots to go. Here's Washington. Somehow scores the layup in traffic. Washington's got five points now this quarter. The Celtics have gotten seven of 12 shots to drop in this fourth quarter. Tatum passes to Holiday. Now here's Tatum. Fires the three. Washington grabs the miss. Washington's got rebound number eight now. Holiday against Irving. Here's Gafford. And that misses. That would have put him up. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. Pass to Pritchard. And here's Holiday. The kick to Tatum. Here's the three. Washington grabs the miss. And sometimes on defense, you know, people just get lucky. Here's Irving to take the lead. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. Irving's got 15 points here in the second half. Boston trailing. Tatum with it. Pass to Holiday. Now here's Tatum. And the run. Tatum drills the three. three. Keep riding that hot hand. He's been pretty much unstoppable. For Dallas, they've gotten eight of 16 attempted shots to go here in the fourth. Washington outside. Gafford the screen. Washington inside. He's against Warford. Washington passes to Exum. Five on the clock. Now here's Irving. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Irving's got 13 points in this quarter. This quarter has been all his. I suggest they keep the ball in his hands. Now Tatum. Hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Tatum's got 34 points. And we've got a timeout from Jason Kidd. No doubt he's going to utilize the opportunity to make sure they're all on the
the same page here. And the Mavericks making a change here. Doncic checked in. The Celtics also with a sub. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for Horford. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey guys, I was able to catch the message that Jason Kidd was giving to his team. Coach telling their team, this is a tight one. We need full effort defensively. One or two stops and we will win this game. A coach preaching defense, a familiar tune. Thanks for that, Allie. Putting his court vision on full display. Holiday plays the role of floor general pretty effectively. Back to Doncic. Doncic punches it home. And from the moment he stepped into the lead, Luka's been a big-time player. Tatum against Gafford. Tatum passes to Cornette. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got three assists tonight. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for him. Outside, Brown. From outside the arc. And it's Tatum with the three. Tatum's got 37. I do not care what kind of game he is having. In these moments, Tatum is just different. Outside. Down low. Outside for Irving. Over Holiday. And it's Irving missing. Boston leading by five. Pass to Brown. From deep. Kept alive by Boston. Tatum finds Brown. No good on the triple. Mavericks shooting at even 50% since the fourth quarter got underway. Washington passes to Gafford. Kicks it to Doncic. And it's in. What a beautiful shot. Brings him within three. Clutch play by Doncic. He's been doing this since he was a kid. Here's Tatum. Get fall. It is the sheer confidence of Tatum, ready to put his team on his back. And he's going for the lob, and stolen by Brown. And now they decide to foul intentionally. First to a foul, second team foul. Here's Tatum. Well, if they score here, they could effectively end this one. Yeah, and their main objective is right now taking care of the rock and using some time. Pritchard, the pass to Cornette. Brown with it. Brown draws the double. Six to shoot. Back to Cornette. Fires the three. Jalen Brown. That one's good. And now it's an eight-point Celtic lead. There is zero hesitation for Brown. This man is always ready to fire. And the Mavericks call time here. There's 14 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. All right, guys, what's your take? And time's running short. They just couldn't get over that hump. And I'm sure Coach is encouraging them to play to the final whistle. Then they can get out of here. Oh, he drained it from downtown. 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And that's an intentional foul. Luka Doncic. First personal foul. Third team foul. Peyton Pritchard. Two shots. He drops the first one. And that increases the lead to six. And a tough break as his second attempt is no good at the line. And he commits the intentional foul. Third personal foul. Fourth team foul. Luke Hornet. Two shots. So the first one drops. And that makes it a seven-point lead. And the second free throw, no good. Tough break there. Washington's shot is good. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. And so it's Boston who scrapes by with the win. Just a gutsy performance on the road. It really was. When this one was up in the air late, they showed how tough-minded they are as a team. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. 
Thanks, guys. Drew, this team is winning games. What's coming together for this group right now? Honestly, I think it's a feel. I think it's a comfortability with each other. Um, I think it's the chemistry on the court. And from there, you know, it's chemistry builds. You build confidence. And, uh, man, it just it's fun to play, you know? I do. I hope it continues to build. It's been fun to watch. Thanks, Drew. All right, Allie, thank you. And that about wraps it up. For Richard Jefferson, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for being with us. And let's leave you with our player of the game, Jason Tatum.